This game contains explicit scenes of violence and gore. What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Eno. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Eno is a very cheap RPG Maker horror game. It looked pretty cool, um, so I decided to give it a shot. Uh, <laughs> made by... Like, everything is almost made by one guy. Interesting. I don't know why I felt like going to the credits, but I felt like... Uh, just so wanted to just check it out. Uh, but all right, new game. Walk, run. Okay. Action command. Okay. What was that? He fell off the table. Yeah, what up? Oh, is his eye closed? I thought his eye was all fucked up. Ouch, my head hurts. What happened to me? Where am I? I can't remember anything. Huh. Do we have a stamina? Yeah, I also saw that the game's art was pretty cool, too. There's nothing useful inside the trash. There's a bunch of used syringes and papers. Okay, there doesn't appear to be a sprint. It's document on the table. Should I read it? Uh, car accident. Patient suffered moderate head injury and chest trauma. Uh, Kurama Hiroki. Okay. So my name. Oh, he didn't even know his name. Kurama. And I suffer. And and I suffered from a car accident. There's an ID card pinned to the report. Should I take it? Sure. ID card. This might be useful. Maybe I should take a better look at it th through my inventory. Let's do that. Uh, Sakura Leaf Hospital. All right. Let me lower the volume a little bit. The footsteps are... Oh, that's why. Because I have the volume really loud. All right. There we go. Surgery tools on the table. Empty cardboard boxes. Vital systems monitoring device. Better not mess with it. I don't know the password. So I can't leave without the password. It's 1654. Which says on my ID. Yes, it is. All right. Do we have? We do not have a save option yet. All right. It reminds me of the opening of The Walking Dead. Well, not the opening, opening, but like where Grimes wakes up in the hospital. It's the hospital for sure. But why is isn't there anyone here around here? Weird. I still can't save. Empty cardboard boxes. Maybe I can only save on a bed? No. Oh, I can't possibly move a bed. Is it the fucking apocalypse? I need a th third floor corridor B key to open it. Oh, of course. Bloody footprints. What's under the bed. Oh, I found a locker room key. That's good. Hmm. It's locked. Okay. Just thought I'd try. Um, alright. Don't know where the locker room is, but we'll find it. It won't budge. Locker room's that way. Th Intensive care. Won't budge. Alright, that's the locker room. How about this? 
Uh, third floor access card. Okay. Hopefully I can find some better clothes. Why are there syringes in the trash can in the locker room? That's not good. Someone could be fired. Uh, information board with a lot of advertising for medicines and health cares. Is this my locker? Some clothes. Ooh. Yeah. I feel better this way. Wait a second. There's something in my pocket. Oh. Wait. Uh oh. What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Man, I, after playing games like Danganronpa and um, the Boogeyman, I kind of miss actually voicing people's lines. Kind of missed that recently. Oh, it's, what's that? There's like a lamp fell down from the floor. Uh, wait. Third floor B key. That's this left side here. I thought it would be a while before we start finding keys like this. It's blood. Can I seriously? Hmm. There's a bed covered in what looks like blood. Locked. Oh boy. Hello? Anybody here? What's this? I'll read the document, why not? We examined the patient today. At first she appeared to be dead. She didn't show any vital sign during 30 minutes. After further examination, she woke up and tried to... Talk? Too dark to see anything. Door is empty. Hmm. Nothing important in here, I guess. Nothing in the trash but papers and syringes, right? No, it's just a document. Okay. More blood. <laughs> Don't look at the blood... Footy, bloody footprints. Wait, there's something else in here. Found a torn paper. 17. It's part of a code, I think. Maybe. Don't mess with it. There's probably only one useful item in each room. Hey! Oh god. That's a... It's like a surgeon walking around with a mask on and blood on his chest. That's not good. Hey mister? Don't attack me. Excuse me, you... You're a doctor, right? What's wrong with this place? Why is there no one around? This. This was caused by a patient. This patient? She killed almost everyone in the hospital. I couldn't see what it w what was. I just hid while the others were being attacked. You can call me a coward if you want, but if you s saw the thing, you would understand. We should leave now. The door... And the third floor corridor is the only way, but we need an access card and a password to open it. Unfortunately, I lost my card and the password changed. If we manage to find someone else alive, there's a chance we can escape. I'll try to find some clue ahead. Be careful and don't let your guard down. Hey, wait. Dude, you just stood there as he walked around you. <laughs> hmm. A single patient did this? This can't be possible. I guess my best chance is to hear what that doctor said and look for a way out. I'll go back to the other corridor. Maybe I missed something. Maybe. Window's broken. Yeah, okay, journals. Interesting. 
All right, we'll go back to the other corridor. Oh, we definitely missed something. Hello? Oh my god, it's... It's a... A corpse! I've already dealt with this kind of stuff before, but just remembering it... It makes me sick. Search your body for notes. <laughs> like it or not, I need to check the corpse. Maybe there's something useful. Seems, uh to be holding a card. Okay. Oh my god. Is that easy? 0317. Hmm. I'm gonna save again. I feel like I recognize the sounds of the doors and the music. It's electronically locked. Alright. So let's see. 0317? You unlocked it. And I also need this... Wait. No, that's my ID card. Do I... Wait. <sighs> what now? Oh. Just want to listen to the music a little bit. Got like that cool skipping effect. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? What's that other uh, Jane the Killer? <laughs> are you the. Oh no. Is that the person I ran over in my car accident? Oh. Chapter 1 begins now. What? Flashback. Uh, hey, Cade. Why are you still here? The classes are over for today. Oh, hello, uh, Hitaki. I just forgot some things in my locker, so I came back to get it. You should stop being so reckless. Yeah, I know, right? Now listen, I have somewhere I need to go today, and I need to get there before it's too late, so I can't waste time talking to you. Hey, wait, can I go with you? Are you sure about that? Uh, yes, maybe you'll need my help. Uh, fuck off. Let's... Uh, fuck off, let's just go then. <laughs> you mean fuck it? Uh, they headed to what looks like an abandoned warehouse, not too far from the place they were. Okay, so these are the events leading up to what happened in the prologue. Oh. How inconvenient. Someone just blocked us in the warehouse. I guess there's no way back now. <sighs> Come on, it isn't that bad. Let's just look for what... I need and find a way to get out of here. All right. Hey, Cade, it's kind of dark here, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't. <laughs> Just it isn't. Don't worry. There must be a power room somewhere around here. There must be a power room. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I need a screwdriver, I think. Doorknob's missing. I can't open it from this side. Alright. What's this say? Power room storage. Okay. Let's go over here first, then. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Hmm. A lot of nails and bolts. Uh, maybe an old key would open it. Not a new key. Like an oldish one. A little rust on it. Hello? What the? There's a power switch here, but I have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> Just shove your finger in it. Hey, Cade, I think I can fix it. Really? Yeah, give me some time and I'll get it going. I knew 
that you would need my help. Okay, then, just don't get too confident of that. Hey, don't electrocute yourself. Alright, well, let's examine the blood on the wall. Or, what's not? Hey, what's this piece of candy? I gotta stop that joke. It was funny in Fatal Frame, or at least I thought it was, but I gotta stop saying it. Whenever there's a shiny object on the ground, I'm just like, oh, a piece of candy. Anyway, while you fix that, I'm gonna go check out this room that needs an oldish key. <laughs> the hell? That vent is bleeding. What's this? Nothing on the shelf. Maybe I could use this ladder to climb the ventilation opening in the other room. Okay. This thing is kind of heavy, so I can't run while carrying it. Alright, let's save. There's something smelling really bad coming out of the vent. Is it blood? I don't really want to find... I don't really want to find out. Yeah, I can't run. What the fuck? Oh. This place is just falling apart. Itaki should have managed to restore the power. That's great. There's all this blood everywhere now. Um. Where is Itaki? He should have stayed here. The light's just turned on right now. Well, I, I like this game so far. It's got a lot of charm. Feels like someone's uh, first game. Okay, I need a screwdriver. Um, hmm. Where would one find a screwdriver? Uh, no, I can't get in there. Is it on the floor right here? Very convenient. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, that's before the student was jacked up. Um. Is her mouth, like, used to be stitched together? Run! Okay. This is not as, uh, as tense as I thought it might be. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. I hope this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yes, use the screwdriver. I'm glad I didn't have to do, like, a mini game. Go, 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 go. I like how this event is just as big as me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Uh... Even a rusty axe would work. This game is funny. What is it? Uh oh. It's a... A corpse. The blood, the smell, it reminds me of... Of that moment. I don't want to think about that. Ugh, his arm's been torn off. I guess he's not using the flashlight, so I'll, I'll take it. Um. So, oh, whoops. Oh. I've done as he asked me. I don't really like doing this, but it's all, it's the only way. I made a choice. Now I'll have to deal with the consequences of it. She is also to blame. She did all this. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in the situation. L. I was like looking around for a um, a uh, rusty axe. Huh. Is this room dark? Yes, it is. Oh fuck! A dead body of a hanged guy wearing white. Wearing hanged body wearing green. Hanged girl wearing blue. 
hanged girl wearing red. Um. Hmm. Electronically locked. What's this? I don't know the password. Something about them, the the colors. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I get it. So red, blue. Eight one. Eight one, and then what is this? Green and white. Eight one. Five nine. Eight one five nine. Did it. Now is there a rusty axe around? No, it's just this puzzle. How convenient. <laughs> they just have to be wearing the colors that would help me. That was a good ass puzzle. Uh, there's a strong padlock. If I had a padlock key I could open it. Ugh. Gross. Uh oh. I don't want to run into that person again. So I unlocked that, but I need a padlock key. I also need an axe. Not a good axe, I just. It, it could be rusty. That would work too, you know. Oh shit. Hmm. Is there? Oh, there's a whole other room. I didn't. I didn't look. And that's a step ladder. Uh There has to be something important in here, maybe. No, I could just climb into this vent. Find a corpse. Oh my god. It's fucked up. Uh, can I go in here? No, I can't. Alright, well so far this game looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. And I will see you next time. Peace out.